Hey YouTube and welcome to another Lantenna video. I'm going to continue with the Thug Pro how to videos and this time I'm going to show you how to add your own skateboard graphics. To make my custom skateboard graphic I'll be using Photoshop. You can use paint.net and possibly GIMP but I'm not 100% sure. Alright, to get started with your custom graphics, open up template.psd. I will also put links in the video description to the files that I'll be using. Now all you need to do is grab your custom graphics. I'm going to use my Nintendo logo and copy that across to the template window. You will have to downsize and stretch your graphic to fit the template. Don't worry about it if it looks crap after you've stretched it and downsized it, it will come out good once it's imported into the game. Once you're happy with your graphic, what you will need to do is go to Image, then Mode, and then select Indexed Color. You'll get a window that says Flatten Visible Layers and Discard Hidden Layers. Just click OK. You should then see the Indexed Color dialog box. Make sure it looks the same, Forced is none and Ditha is also none. And then click OK. Then what you'll need to do is again, go to Image, go to Mode, and then change it to RGB Color. Once you've done that, you're now ready to save your file. You will need to save it as a Targa format, .tga format. I'm going to call mine Nintendo since that's what it is. When you hit save, you'll get the target options window. Make sure you select 32 bits slash pixel and then hit OK. Then what you need to do is convert your target file to an XBX file. And to do that, what you need to do is drag your file over top of the TGA2 image underscore UG2.exe. This will open up a command window, type 1 and press enter for thug2 and then press Y to compress the image. Once that's completed you'll get a file successfully converted, press any key to continue and you're pretty much good to go. You can see here that it has created the lentend2.xbx file. What we'll need to do is copy this file and paste it into the boards folder. You can find this through Program Files x86, Tony Hawk's Underground 2, Game, Data, Textures and then Boards. Now for this to work you do have to replace existing files. I'm going to replace the Metallica board since it's quite easy to find and it's at the bottom of the list in Thug Pro. Before you replace this file, make sure you back it up. Once you've backed that up, you can then copy your XBX file into this directory. Then what you want to do is copy the name of the board that you will be replacing. I'm going to copy the Metallica one. Then you can delete this file and then rename your custom one. So I'm going to rename len 102 xbx to mu underscore metallica 01image Now assuming you followed my first video on adding custom skaters, you are pretty much good to go. If you haven't followed that video, you will need to copy some dummy skateparks.prx files. So do watch that video first and then come back to this point. Now to change your board, what you want to do is go to Edit Skater, Edit Current, and down to Deck Options, and then Deck Graphics, and then look for the one that you replaced. Mine was Metallica, so I'm going to go and select Metallica, and there it is. There's my custom graphic. Now go Skate.
that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope to help you out i will be making another video on bug pro on how to add in your own music so stay tuned for that one if you like this video please hit the like button leave a comment below if you've got any questions and i will do my best to answer them thanks for watching